So you just got your new Prodigy account and you're looking to get it set up. My name is James DiClemente and I'm going to quickly walk you through exactly how to get started here in Prodigy. The first step is to navigate over to the Certifications tab and click Add New Certification. A certification will drive a training plan for you. So you can add in either your state EMS certification or your NREMT. If you select state EMS certification, here's the data that's required. You can see under certification levels, we have a variety of levels, and this is because various states have different levels. For instance, Rhode Island has cardiac, or Alaska has EMT 1, 2, and 3. So you'd select your level and then your state. You'd add in a city, and then you'd add in your certification number for that particular state certification. We then collect your issue date and expiration date. The expiration date is simple. That's the date that your card is set to expire. Your issue date is the date that you got your most recent card. The reason we collect this is to allow you to start training as soon as you get recertified. So if you expired in 3-31-2024, but you renewed January 7th, 2024, you would put in that January 7th so you can immediately start taking training. You can also add in an optional image of this certification. If I were to select National Registry, we collect the same dates. For the issued and expiration date, the NREMT actually has this on your NREMT dashboard under Research Cycle. The difference is under certification level, we only have the four National Registry certification levels. Once you add in a certification, you can head over to Training Plans, and that plan is going to load for you immediately. Even if you started training and then put in a certification, we'll automatically apply any training you've completed towards your training plan. So in this case, I'm loading the National Registry Paramedic Training Plan. We maintain training plans for all four National Registry levels, including both the old 2016 model that we're on right now, as well as the new upcoming 2025 model that will start for people that expire in 2026 and beyond. And don't worry, we automatically apply the correct model to you. We also maintain training plans for over 40 states. So when I come in, I can see my overall progress. I can see where I am in the different categories, so in this case, national, local, individual, as well as where I am for those different specific requirements. If I click on a requirement, I'll see the classes that are available to complete that. In many cases, you'll see more classes than are required. You only need to pick the correct number of hours. So in this case, you need two hours. You can see I've completed one class already, so I'm one of two. Once I complete a second hour, this category will be marked as complete, as you can see here in Capnography. We just want to give you more options and let you choose the class that's best for you. So I do this for my entire training plan, and I know that I'm complete. As I mentioned, we also maintain state training plans. For instance, here's the Ohio-style training plan. It's all going to look the same. We'll just lay out what classes fit different categories. Now, if you complete a class by clicking on it here in the Ohio training plan, and it also applies to your National Registry training plan, we'll automatically apply it for both. It doesn't matter where you clicked on it from. If the class applies, we'll automatically apply it to the training plan. And this selector will have all the training plans that are available to you, whether they're custom department training plans or recertification training plans that are here on Prodigy. Your transcript will have the entire record of all of the classes you've ever completed off Prodigy. When you go to recertify, your training plan is really helping you track whether or not you've met the requirements. This just gives you an entire ledger of that. I can export the entire transcript into a CSV file by clicking here. I can export an individual certificate by clicking here, or I can search for different classes to see what I've completed, how I've completed them, things like that, all available on my transcript. When I'm on my dashboard, I'm going to see a few pieces of information here. I'm going to see my classes that I've already started, so that continue class. I can select a class. I can see the percentage I am complete. I click on it, and I immediately move in to complete that class. I can see any bundles that are available to me. We consider a purchase on Prodigy a group of classes a bundle so I can see what's available, whether that's a bundle that your agencies purchase for you or one that you've purchased individually on Prodigy. We do offer 16 hours a week of live training, and I can see that live schedule right here. I can see a snapshot of all the training plans I have and what percentage complete I am, as well as any assignments. So if you're part of a department, your training officers can assign you classes, and you can see that here in your dashboard. So if I were to click on a live class, say this neurological emergencies class, you can see that I have the availability to register for this now. And this is register for online. There is the option for training officers to have live in-person training, so this would be designated as an in-person class. In this case, it's hosted by us online. When I click register online, I'm registered for the class, and now I can get into that virtual classroom up to 10 minutes before the class starts. There will be a go to class button available for you here. If I'd registered for a class but I'm not really interested in it, I can simply click unregister 
and I can either choose a different session or I can take that class now distributive. If I were to go to my class catalog, the class catalog is really designed as an exploratory option. Uh, the training plan will tell me exactly what I need to take, how I need to take it. This will show me all of the classes that are available in the catalog. You have various ways to filter this. I can look for classes that are running live between specific dates, credit classes, non-credit classes. I can also sort this by either alphabetical or my preferred method, which is the last updated. So this will sort by the last time we've updated a class, but any new classes will be flagged as new. So you know those are classes that were just added into the catalog. You can also see that we have our last updated here. We want to make sure that our classes are always current for you, so we want you to see exactly when that class was last updated. So we've got a few new classes that are in the system. We've got a great class on diagnostic error by our medical director, Dr. Maya Dorsett. One of our many great podcast partnerships, we have Medic Mindset, PEC, But Why, Montgomery County Hospital District, and here you can see the Pediatric EMS podcast. They have a great new episode on guidelines for a TBI uh, in kids. And this is a, a webinar that we've added that got some great praise when we ran it live. This is a sepsis webinar. Uh, we'll talk to some agencies that have actually implemented some real change within their system and seen great patient care improvements from sepsis. So I come in here, I can learn a little bit about the class, I can see the presenters. I click continue class now because I've already started it. Otherwise, as we saw in the previous classes, take class now. And when I come in, I have my video player. This has two segments that are available to me. So I would take the presentation, which is the actual webinar that we recorded, as well as a question and answer. Once I've completed both of those, then the quiz will be available. I complete the quiz. We don't set a maximum number of attempts you can make at the quiz. Our minimum passing score is 80. We just want to ensure a certain baseline of knowledge after you've completed that class. Once I complete a class, we'll automatically put that on your training plan where appropriate and we'll send it immediately to CAPSI. And CAPSI is important because that's what sends records to the National Registry. So whether you're a nationally registered provider or in one of the states that is managed by the National Registry, you can directly import your classes into your NREMT transcript immediately because we're submitting that record in real time. As soon as you've completed it here on Prodigy, you just go over to your transcript, you hit import from CAPSI, and bring those classes directly into your National Registry profile. All purchases for Prodigy are done in the bundle section. If you already have a bundle, either you purchased it or your agency purchased it, no need to worry about this. But I can come in here and I can buy different classes, different bundles of classes. In this case, we really have two main bundles that are used for recertification. We have the recertification bundle, and this can be used for your national registry up to the 60-hour paramedic or any state that uses the national registry style of recertification. If you're in a different state that doesn't follow the National Registry or you just want more options, you have the Clinician Bundle. This is going to give you nearly 300 additional classes available to you that you can use to complete some of those categories which may have additional class options as well as your local and individual or any other elective category. And once I make a purchase, I can see that it's active here. I can also see my purchase history here in the bundle page. And then anybody that's in a department, you'll have an assignments tab. So you can see classes that have been assigned to you or training plans that have been assigned to you, as well as who assigned them, their due date, and their overall duration. So that concludes our brief introduction to Prodigy. We try to keep it simple. Add a certification, follow your training plan, get recertified. If you do have any questions for us, you can hit this chat icon, give us some basic information, or email us support at prodigyems.com. Thank you.